So in a first order process, uh, you can plot, you know, if you were to plot concentration versus time or pressure versus uh, time, you don't get a straight line. In order to get a straight line, you need to plot the natural log. So remember what that equation looks like, natural log of A at some time. This is only for a first order. It's negative K times T plus the natural log oops, of A initial, and this is Y equals MX plus B. So you're plotting Y on the Y axis, you plot your natural log, and on the X axis you have your uh, time and your slope here is negative k. Um, so if you plotted just the concentration versus time, then you don't get a straight line. So here they're saying pressure instead of concentration. If it's a gas, it, it's going to be proportional if you do pressure or concentration. Um, so we can deter we can use these types of graphs, plotting concentration versus time, natural log of pressure versus time, in order to figure out do we have a zeroth, first, or second order reaction. So to get the second order um, linear equation, the integrated rate law, do the same thing that we did before. You have your uh, negative, your change in concentration over the change in time is equal to k times a squared. But now this time when you integrate these, you get this equation. And after you, you, know, you get that equation, after you evaluate it from 0 to t, which is also in the form of y equals mx plus b. But now you're going to plot what over here? You have 1 over uh, a at some time versus time, and your slope is positive. You get a, a positive k here. And so, if you were to take um, to you know measure these concentrations of some reactant over the course of reaction, so you have different times, you have concentration, and then you take this this column here, and you can do this in Excel. Take the natural log, you get that number. Take one over that concentration, you get this these numbers here, and then you plot these. You plot concentration versus time, natural log of concentration versus time, one over concentration versus time, and you see which one of these gives you a straight line. And whichever one, only one is going to give you a straight line. If you plot just concentration versus time, and that's a straight line, then that would be zero with order. If you plot natural log versus time, and that was straight, then that's first. If you do one over um, concentration versus time, and you get a straight line, then that's a second order. So if I just kind of gave you these graphs, you can see natural log versus time does not give you a straight line. So this cannot be first order. This reaction, this is the reaction that we're talking about. Um, but when I plot 1 over concentration versus time, I get a straight line. This means that this is a second order, um, second order process. So only one of those graphs will, will give you a straight line. So in this case, it's the second order process. So let's use that equation to, you know, in, in a math problem. Right, so our equation looks like this, 1 over a at some time. So I just want you to get some practice kind of rearranging this equation because it can be a little tricky. So I, I added this one. Um, I, you may not have this in your notes, so this might be something that I added. Uh, it, I adapted it from a homework problem. So the rate constant for second order. So second order means, whoa, what happened to our 1? Second order means use this equation. And again, this is A at some time. This is the rate constant. Notice it's positive this time. This is our, our time. And the same thing, the K has to match your units in time. Um, so if this is in uh, you know, you have one over seconds, then this guy better be in seconds. I think in the homework they give you this in hours and you have to convert the time. I thought I'd make it a little more straightforward here. All right, so the rate constant is this. So they give you K. We don't have to worry about temperature. They're just saying temperature is going to be held constant. The rate constant will be different at different temperatures. And they give us our initial concentration, and they give us um, our time, and they want to know what is the um, A at some time, or HI at some time. So we're trying to find that guy. They give us our initial concentration, uh, 0.5. So I'm just calling this A, like a generic A. They give us HI in this problem, so you can substitute that there if you want to. Time is 7.2 times 10 to the 3 seconds, and k is 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3, 1 over molar times seconds. Okay, so I'm trying to find 1 over, I'm going to solve for 1 over a at some time first. k, just plug that in. 1.2 times 10 to the negative 3, 1 over molar times seconds, and our time 
is 7.2 times 10 to the 3 seconds. So seconds cancel seconds. I end up with 1 over molar um, plus 1 over A initial, which is 0.56. Okay. So 1 over 0.5, that's a number. Add it to this number after you multiply these together. So multiply this number, you get something, and then add it to that. You get 1 over A at some time is 10 point, sorry, 10.426. Um, so to solve for that, you're going to do multiply by A at some time multiply by a at some time. Okay, so I have 1 equals 10.426 a at some time. Now divide by 10.426. 10.426. And so you get a at some time is equal to 0 0.09 Five, nine, and I'm just going to round that up to 0 0.096 molar for that one. Okay, so just plug and chug, plug and chug. Just make sure everything goes in the right place. Um, and then check your answer. Yeah, A at some time is less than your initial, so that's good. Uh, so that's a second order reaction. You can also have a zeroth order reaction. Zeroth is when, you know, K, uh, negative DADT equals K times A to the zero, which is just one, so it's just k times a, and then you integrate both sides, boom, boom, and you get this guy, which is also a linear equation, y equals mx plus b, and so now, in order to get a straight line, if it's zeroth order, you just have concentration versus time, you get a straight line, slope is going to be, whoa, slope is going to be negative k, it goes the other way, there we go, slope will be negative k. So I added another problem here for us to work through using that equation. Let me clean that up a little. All right, so now we just read this. Oh, a common type of zeroth order reaction. Um, so these are weird, right? Where the, the you can change the concentration all you want and it's not going to affect the reaction. Um, if you have a gas undergoing decomposition on the surface of a solid, if that surface is completely saturated, you have all the, the molecules on there, it's not going to um, change. The, the rate of the reaction won't change. The rate of the reaction will be constant because the number of reacting surface molecules is also going to be constant. Okay, so that's just one type of zero with order reaction. They're kind of weird. All right, let's see. So the rate uh, constant for a zero with order decomposition. Okay, so they tell you you have zero with order, um, which means you're going to use this equation. And you don't worry about the temperature. Don't worry about the temperature. They tell you K is 1.5. Notice how the units of K are always changing depending on what the order of the reaction is. They give us an they give us an initial concentration of the initial is 1.9 and a at some time later is 0 0.55 molar. These are both molar, so that makes sense that that time sometime later it's going down. And they want to know what time. Find the time. All right, so we're solve for t this time. Um, so we're Final. So A at some time is 0.55, K is 1.5 times the time, plus our initial, which is 1.9. Okay, so I'm going to subtract out 1.9. So this is negative 1.9. 3, 5. And now I'll divide it by negative 1.5 to solve for t. That's our t, that's what we're looking for. Negative 1.5, and so I get a time of 0 0.90 seconds. So again, the, the key for all these things is figuring out which order of the reaction do you have. Do you have zero, first, or second? They have to tell you. You could figure it out based off of the units of the rate constant if you wanted to, but I'll tell you which one it is. And then you find the right um, equation.